hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's lit chocolate chip and if you're a returning subscriber what's poppin i thank you guys so so much for joining me today today's video is going to be me showing you guys what i'm going to be bringing to the hospital for labor and delivery um you guys Fun fact, if you didn't already know, this is my first baby, so I'm not really sure what exactly I'm going to be needing. Um, but I did go around and ask a lot of family members and friends, and they kind of like advised me on what they needed. Um, so I kind of just based it off that. I hope that it's helpful for someone. Um, but again, you guys, I am a first time mommy. So after after having my baby i will find out what i actually needed um and what i'll be taking on round numero dos <laughs> you guys i'm already like planning on having more kids no 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 and i haven't no. even finished <laughs> i am 38 weeks pregnant so baby girl can be here any day and i'm so freaking excited because I just want to see her little cute face and I just literally can't wait. My due date is actually October 31st. So, so she's actually a Halloween baby. Um, but yeah, you guys, anyways, let's go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, so you guys, um, the first thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is this really cute pink makeup bag. I don't know if I'm going to have time to like have my face ready but i know that some people do i know that some people look super cute for their pictures um although i don't know how my experience is gonna be i don't know if i'm gonna have the time or energy for it but just in case i am gonna have my boyfriend bring my makeup bag um i did get this one on amazon for i think under 20 dollars um if i'm wrong i'll go ahead and put the prices on the screen so you guys can um, see how much I got it for and actually I'll go ahead and link everything that I got from Amazon down below although I didn't get everything from Amazon you guys I got a couple of things from Amazon a couple of things from Ross, Dee Dee's, like Target um uh, but yeah I kind of just you know got the best deals from wherever I found them I kind of just picked here and there but anyways yeah this one is from Amazon it is super super cute I have my little deodorant in here it has a little pocket um i do love this one i love the shade and i love the size of it you guys i believe this is the medium size um again i will if i'm wrong i'll correct it down below but look at how cute this is you guys like oh this is super super compact and super easy to carry that i've literally already been carrying it everywhere for a couple of weeks now it does have one two three four compartments i super super love it um super super easy to store or just hang up anywhere this is actually one of my favorite little makeup bags that i've ever purchased i had another one that was like pink and flowery but it wasn't like compartment based so it kind of you kind of just packed everything in like one you know the whole bag and it just looks super bulky and then like getting in there was a hassle so i really really love this makeup bag it's literally come through for me um you can obviously like you can pack anything in here like toiletries um makeup or anything you want in here i just personally use it for my makeup because our makeup has to have its own little moment you know um but yeah so there's that one second i'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to be bringing along for baby girl, here is my little diaper bag. I actually received this from our baby registry for our baby shower. Shout out to whoever got this for us. I totally forgot who got this for us. I'm so sorry. But someone did get this for us from our baby registry. I'm super, super thankful and grateful. So shout out to you if you know who you are. <laughs> um, but yeah, for the baby, I just got to say that um, after asking a lot of my friends and family, everyone kind of advised me to not really pack much for baby because they do provide mostly everything that you need at the hospital. So I kind of just packed um the stuff that i thought i would want to take like a couple of otds to get a cute little first time picture um a swaddle and stuff like that so i'll show you guys um so the first thing i'm going to show you guys 
for baby's bag is this little like thing that came with it i think this is like a changing pad or something like that yeah so this bag actually came with this little like changing pad thing changing pad situation that we can literally pack with us and take anywhere so i love this you guys i literally think this is going to be like the best thing because you can pop it open like anywhere to change your baby if you have to so we're just going to take it not that we're going to need after delivery but just in case we're packing it um the next thing i'm going to show you guys is this cute little pink um i don't even know what these are called but they're super super long and it has like a little opening here i think you tie this i remember it came tied but we did wash all our baby clothes before packing it so yeah so i'm gonna be bringing this just in case i do believe this is newborn size but it does look kind of big but we will see i'm taking it just in case next i am taking a swaddle um fun fact i don't know how to swaddle yet after this i am going to be practicing and i'm going to be watching a couple videos so we're going to learn how to do it properly okay but anyways i am bringing this really cute white um swaddle with us it has little sheeps on it it is super super cute i'm not going to extend it all because it's huge like it's you know it's everywhere <laughs> and you guys i'm actually i actually packed a couple of outfits because i don't know how many days we're going to be staying at the hospital but just in case i wanted to you know just be more prepared than i'd rather be prepared than under prepared so and then i also don't know what outfit i want her to wear um the first you know for her first pictures or for when we're leaving the hospital so i kind of packed a couple of outfits um so one of the outfits that i'm going to be taking you guys i actually got from amazon and i thought it was the cutest thing ever you guys i got it in this tan color um it comes with the hoodie super super cute it's the top and the bottom look at how cute this little set is i'm so excited it is newborn size um so we'll see how it goes but i kind of am leaning towards this one for her first pictures because i think it's so cute or maybe like the outfit that she wears when we're stepping out of labor and delivery i just think it's the cutest little two piece super super comfy vibes though so i love that one and then next you guys i'm also going to be taking this pink little um onesie situation it is so freaking cute it has like ribbed texture and it has a little heart on there guys i literally love this you know what i think i might use this one as her um her little otd for her first pictures so yeah i think this is probably going to be the one um and i also packed besides those two i also packed what did i pack oh i packed this other white onesie just in case um it has little like hand things i think for her to like not scratch her little face so yeah i'll be bringing this one can never go wrong with a little backup moment and then i am also going to be bringing a couple of like the little hand mittens and a couple of socks just to make sure that she is um you know she has her little fingers she has her little hands protected from her scratching her face and her little socks to keep her warm we are due october 31st so i'm expecting it to be a little more chilly so that's why i packed um these like onesies and the little hoodie situation yeah, you guys and i don't know if i'm going to be using this little this little toy but i am going to bring it just in case i don't know again if i'm going to use this you guys because she's a newborn like she probably won't even care she'll probably be sleeping most of the time but i'll just in case 
just you know just to give her a little bit more love <laughs> but i just thought this was so cute it literally says my first bear on the tummy look at how cute that is Ooh, i don't know if you guys can see that but it literally says my first bear shout out to whoever got this for us for the baby shower you guys are bomb because i thought this was literally the cutest little toy for her um but yeah you guys and i and i'm also going to be packing this super super cute little ribbon look at how cute this headband is i literally am so obsessed i think i'm going to be using this with the pink outfit for her first pictures because it's so freaking cute and then i'm also going to be bringing these little um pacifiers I, again i don't know if i'll be using them because i'll probably be breastfeeding well they actually provide everything for you at the hospital so i don't know if i'll actually need these i don't know if this is going to be too big you know like i have no idea again you guys but i am bringing them um these pacifiers are from zero to six months so just in case we're prepared you know what i'm saying doesn't hurt to be over prepared you guys but again i don't think i'm bringing a lot of stuff like this is literally all i'm bringing for the baby because everyone literally you guys everyone told me to not pack much for the baby besides probably their like going home outfit so that's kind of what i just did i kind of just packed the going home outfit um and you guys i am going to be taking my um newborn car seat and our stroller and also a boppy which they are already in our trunk for whenever it's time just so they don't take up space too in our apartment because we don't have like the biggest space and that stroller is huge <laughs> okay but you guys so now time to show you guys what i'm taking for myself for labor and delivery i'm actually taking a whole lot of stuff <laughs> you guys i honestly don't know if i overpacked but i feel like i probably overpacked but people just tell me that it's better so we're gonna find out but anyways you guys time to show you guys what i packed for my bag um i actually got my labor and delivery bag at ross or i think it was ross you guys either it was ross or Didi's, but it is by juicy couture i thought it was so freaking cute um i love the like nude colors to it and i think it was only 34 dollars so not bad super bougie on a budget and, and it's so freaking huge um but yeah you guys anyways the first thing that i packed is let me see you guys i literally filled it like i filled her up but anyways the first item i'm going to show you guys are these freedom mom boy short briefs so yeah i think it's like one two three four five six seven eight i got like eight pairs of them um and they have different shades i think but the pack that i got i believe came with gray ones so yeah or i might be wrong i think they're just gray i i can't remember but i did get a little pack of like a freedom mom care kit and it came with these and literally everyone that i spoke to told me get the freedom mom kit get the freedom mom kit or the freedom mom briefs like they said you really really need these so i had to get me these next i am packing a little hand sanitizer because we all know that hospitals are disgusting hospitals are so disgusting so anyways pack your sanitizer is what i hear so i'm packing my sanitizer so next um i did pack a couple outfits for um when i leave the hospital and after i deliver just because you want to be super super comfortable um after giving birth so i kind of just packed a couple of outfits so the first one that I packed is actually from Target and it's this really cute pink two-piece like sweatshirt and sweatpants set. Um, I believe these were like $25 a piece. They are, oh wait, let's see. Yeah, so the sweater is actually $19.99 and it's from the Stars Above um, brand at Target. So it's just a simple like crew neck type of 
sweater. Um, but I thought it was super cute. It's literally, I love this mauve like pink color lately. So as you can tell from what I'm wearing. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then the pants were also $19.99. And I did get these in size, I believe extra large because you really want them to be super baggy and comfortable because it, because i did hear that a lot goes on like for a couple of weeks with our body so you really really want to be comfortable so, so that's my first set it's super comfy vibes and again it's going to be chillier from what i'm expecting so that's why i got sweats so I did get another set, but I got it in like this like gray blue shade. Um, also an extra large. So there's that. And it also comes with its little crew neck sweater. Super, super cute. Comfy vibes. Extra large. Um, and then I also got this really cute cheetah print. Um, pajama set I got it in the size extra large as well and also from the brand stars above from Target you guys the material from this brand is so comfy if you've ever like purchased from Target and you've purchased this brand it's literally like super comfortable and um, I just love it but yeah so I ended up getting this set also for well I got this set for when I like for after I deliver so this one is just to be like comfortable until they tell me that I get to go home. So I got that one and it comes with shorts. And if I don't end up wearing this one, I think I'll probably be wearing it like at home um, after getting here just to be super, super comfy like the first day. Um, but yeah. So then lastly for clothing, I did get this black robe oh my god everybody told me get a black robe because it's going to be a mess girl it is going to be a mess and you're going to need a black robe so you guys i got this one from amazon and i will link it down below i freaking love it like it's long sleeve it's thin and it's really really long um so yeah I think this is probably going to be the one I'm going to wear after giving birth because Lord knows we don't want to get messy. But anyways, I super, super love, love, love this robe and I can't wait to wear it. I feel like this robe is probably going to be the best thing um, from what I hear. You know what I'm saying? Because it's black and um, because it's really, really long and comfy vibes. So yeah, and I got it big just to be super extra comfortable. And I'm also packing these really cute pink fluffy slippers that I found at Target. These were only $18 and I did get these a size up you guys because um, I'm usually a size 6 but I got these in a size 7, 8 because my feet have been so swollen like I'm not even joking they expanded my feet are huge so i want to be super comfortable so i made sure to go a size up um if they fit a little big who cares whatever it's better you know what i'm saying but i doubt they're gonna fit me big but yeah i'll be taking these with me and then next um i am taking with me um a couple of compression socks which i actually ordered off amazon um, they had really good reviews and I'm packing about four pairs of socks just because you just never know and why not, you know, why not. And I'm also going to be packing these cotton black granny panties. You guys, I got these on Amazon and they're probably like the best reviewed and I, I also seen this on other YouTube videos and other people that told me that these were literally like the best cotton, um, the best cotton like underwear to bring to labor and delivery um, because they're black, because they're super stretchy and they say that these actually have really good like compression 
towards the belly i don't know if you guys can see that but you really want something to compress um after giving birth and so a lot of people recommended these. I also seen a TikTok that said that these were probably the most comfiest, the best cotton um, cotton granny panties to bring to labor and delivery. So I'm doing a couple of these. Um, they actually do feel really, really comfortable. Like the like the material feels really comfortable, and I feel like I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna thank everyone later. <laughs> Okay, and I'm also going to be packing a Faja. I don't know if I ordered the wrong size, but now I'm kind of thinking that I did after asking a couple of people how big they stayed after giving birth. Um, I ordered this one in a medium, so I might need to go back and order an extra large or a large. Usually, I'm a size small in these, but I'm super huge right now that I'm pregnant. I've gained, I think, like over 30 pounds so so i'm going to be bringing my faja this faja i got from amazon and it kind of has like the, the like boob cut out and their shorts so yeah and th these i actually really liked because it has like the little plasticky thing so they don't roll up so i'm super excited about that and they're like lacy from the bottom and these actually had really, really good reviews. So I think I'm going to order the exact same one, but in a bigger size. Because I think this one might not fit me coming out of flavor and delivery. But once we size down, I'll end up using this one. So the last item that I'm going to show you guys is this really cute toiletry bag. I got this at, um, I got this from Amazon. It says wash bag right here and let's see do i have anything else no okay so this wash bag is literally like the perfect size it's like super cute and i think it was like ten dollars super affordable this is literally my toiletry bag just in case i um my, like just in case i decide to shower there and use like my own stuff but anyways, in here, I'm going to be taking a couple of loofahs. I'm going to be taking a razor, disposable toothbrush, my little, my little toothpaste, little travel size shampoo and conditioners, um, Listerine. Uh, body butter you guys lately I've been so dry like this pregnancy I feel like has made me so so dry I literally need this I need it I'm also going to be taking this freedom mom cracked nipple saline spray it's like a soothing sterile spritz for sore nips um, I hear a lot of people recommend this again i don't know what to expect i don't know i just packed it i got it and packed it because a lot of people said that like your nipples get really really sore so hopefully this comes through for me so i'm going to be taking that one and then you guys this i'm going to be taking this little like bottle from freedom on that everybody literally says to get i guess this you um you like after labor and delivery this is how we're going to be rinsing down there instead of wiping because i hear that it burns so bad after labor and delivery um so i heard this is going to be my best friend and it's gonna go like this and then we just pat dry we're gonna fill this with water and then just you know pat dry but anyways yeah so i have my little i don't know what these are called i totally forgot what they're called but I, yeah, but yeah, so I packed one of these guys. I hear that they do give you a bottle for you to squirt, like for you to use after. However, they say that it's not like, it wasn't like as good as getting this because this has the little pump to it. Or the little like, the little thing to it where it literally points up. And then I think the one that they give you at the doctor is just like a little regular like hair dye bottle looking thing. 
from what I hear. I don't know you guys, but it's just like a regular bottle. And I hear that it's just harder to use. That this one is super, super easier to use. So, yeah. I heard this is a must, you guys. But yeah, how cute that it comes with its own little, like, little, like, little bag. So cute. Um, next, we have our little travel size to odorant. I also got the No Mess Nipple Balm from Freedom from freedom mom but it's just to like really hydrate and keep your nipples moist so i ended up getting that just in case like they're itchy or anything i feel like this will keep them nice and hydrated so i got that i'm also going to be just taking this little travel size um face cleanser to wash my face some floss little aerosol deodorant i don't know why i have two but i guess the more the merrier um and then next i ended up getting these these pads i want to say this is from the always brand i can't remember because i removed the packaging when i packed this little wash bag um but i think these are from always and um they're the extra long overnight like pads a lot of people recommended these specific ones so i ended up getting a couple of these um and lastly you guys i'm going to be taking these nipple pads um for after because um they said that i would be um like leaking so yeah so i have a couple of these these were actually from a gift from my registry <clears throat> so yes yeah, so i'll be taking a couple of nipple pads just in case we're leaking well actually i heard that we're most likely going to be leaking so we're going to be taking a couple of these these are so cute it literally comes in like a whole little bunch and it comes in its own little bag which i think is super super cute so lastly i'm going to be also um bringing along these breast feeding bras that i found on amazon it comes with i think one two three four and five pairs of breastfeeding bras um i got these on amazon they were super affordable for like the five pairs um so this is how they look they literally feel super comfortable i got these in a size large and um they have the little like the little um how do you do this actually see i've never even used these so i don't even know how to i don't even know how to like i don't even know how to properly use these you guys but anyways bear with me um, so they have, I think it's this little like clip thing right here where I just unhook it. Oh, I literally just unhook it like this. And then it comes down to like breastfeed. So yeah, I'll be taking these with me. Love how they literally come in so many colors. Literally super cute. And then I'm going to obviously need a lot of these. So yeah. But anyways, you guys, that was actually it for the stuff that I'll be carrying for me and baby. Um, if you really enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But anyways, I will be filming my labor and delivery. So make sure to turn your post notifications on if you want to see that video. Um, I think that'll be the last video I am going to be filming. Yeah, I think that's going to be the next video I'm going to be filming. I won't be filming anything else before then because I literally can go into labor any single day now. Um, since I am full term, you guys, today is actually, let's see, today is Thursday, October 20th, and I'm due October 31st, so a couple of days away. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to get this video up as soon as possible. So if there's anything that you want to share with me, any advice, any tips, um anything is welcome i love 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 when you guys drop your beautiful little comments on here i see all of them um and i try to respond as fast as i can um and if i can't sometimes i'm so sorry life just gets in the way and i'm like 
everywhere <laughs> but anyways i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the hospital bye